Over the past couple of weeks, the St. Louis International Film Festival has been showing various short films, movies, and documentaries. Well, Malik Wilson is joining us live to introduce us to a first-time filmmaker who made her debut during this festival to showcase hidden history here in our community. Hidden it is, Dana. Have you ever heard the saying, your purpose will find you if you just pay attention to the signs? Well, that's what this young film director has done, and she's making leeway to a serious issue now using her talents. As kids, we all had dreams to be something in life. For Alana Woodson, her dreams were to be a filmmaker. So I've always been a storyteller. I've always been passionate about storytelling communications. I actually have a bachelor's in communication. So much so, she went to school for it. I actually have a bachelor's in communication. And? My master's in social work. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how does a master's in social work apply to filmmaking? But in short, it's playing a pivotal role in Woodson's career. We were studying social and economic development, and we took a course about systemic racism in St. Louis, and we drove through historic black communities. And Kinlock, Missouri was one of their destinations. The city of Kinlock is Missouri's first black incorporated city. It was incorporated in 1948. It was one of the largest all black communities in the country um, during its prime. We have a lot of notable people from this area. But what was once a municipality of greatness has since become come only a few sunsets away from extinction, which is where Woodson comes into play. She's taken the last five years putting together a documentary highlighting the downfall of Kinlock. The Kinlock doc is about the implications of two major political decisions that happened in this community. The first one being the dissolution of the school district where all of the kids were forced to be bused out to neighboring communities and also um, the airport buyout by neighboring airport Lambert Airport. So they bought out a lot, many, many plots of lands to make way for a runway expansion that never happened. Woodson has compiled stories from several recent and past citizens of the community to tell their story. There's great miscommunication between generations of, you know, baby boomers and of course the millennial generation and this project or this film allowed me the opportunity to merge that gap. Woodson's hope with the film is to possibly bring life back to Kinlock, but also to a Kinlock near you. There's a saying that my father says in the film, there's a Kinlock everywhere, right? And so the Kinlock's in your area. Is it um, under threat? Is it primed for eminent domain or redevelopment? Do you know who your key players are in your area that are making these decisions? How can you preserve your area to prevent what happened to Kinlock from happening to your community? Woodson recently previewed her documentary in the St. Louis International Film Festival, and of course, she doesn't plan to stop there. I'm keeping it open just because I really want the story of Kinlock to be resonated everywhere across this country. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'll be telling more stories. I'm sure you will. You can visit the website cinemastlewis.org to watch her film and all that other stuff. You can also visit her web, I mean her Instagram right there, and you can shoot her an email um, to get in touch with her to show a film near you.